This is your chance to remind your loved ones how special they are by saying Happy Valentine's Day! Our special menu item of the day is heart-shaped ravioli! Many of us are celebrating Valentine's Day at home this year, so why not impress your date with these heart-shaped ravioli? They are made with lots of love and make the most delicious meal for a date night, so be sure to keep on watching! And salute a tutti! We are using a new but easy technique today to dye our red pasta. First, I'm preheating the oven to 400 degrees and wrapping up some beets in tin foil. We don't want beet juice all over the oven, so just make sure that's all sealed up like a tent. You are going to roast them for at least one hour to make an amazing color for our pasta. Once they're done roasting, blend them in your food processor with some water until they are a smooth puree and the chunks are eliminated as much as possible. Set the beets aside while we make our pasta dough. This is 300 grams of pasta flour along with one teaspoon of salt. And guys, welcome if you are new. Make sure to join the party and subscribe so you don't miss out on more recipes to make your Valentine's Day extra special. I just cracked three medium eggs and poured them in, as well as half a tablespoon of olive oil. And don't forget about the bee puree. Add in two tablespoons. If you are wondering, you will not be able to taste this in there. Combine everything in your food processor until you see the dough has come together. Just take a minute to appreciate that pop of color. Go ahead and flour your surface, then knead your dough for about 10 minutes using a combination of squeezing motions, the heel of your hand, and your knuckles to really get in there and work it. Feel free to add more flour on your board if the dough is too sticky. I prepared plain pasta dough the same exact way minus the beets. Instead, substitute with two tablespoons of water. Wrap both of those up with plastic wrap and store them in a cool dry place for two to three hours. In the meantime, let's prepare our delicious ricotta cheese filling. This particular brand Galvani is very creamy, so there is no need to strain it. This is a two pound container with half a cup of grated mozzarella and a quarter cup of pecorino romano. Next is a handful of fresh parsley that we're finely chopping up. As a side note, there will be extra filling, so feel free to have the recipe if you like. The last ingredients are two whole eggs and black pepper according to your taste. That was super easy. You can mix this up with an electric mixer or by hand. Either method works for this recipe. Now that the dough has set, I'm slightly flattening it out with a rolling pin and dividing into four sections using a bench scraper. This makes the dough easier for you to work with. First, I'm taking a section and rolling it into a rectangular oval shape to feed it into the pasta machine. You are going to select the thickest setting on your machine, mine is number seven, and pass the dough through two times. This is a lot simpler than you think. After those two times, just switch to the next thinnest setting and run through two times again. Keep repeating that same pattern until your ravioli is your desired thickness. For reference, I stopped at number four and I will be sure to link the machine I'm using down in the description box. Once all your ravioli sheets are rolled, the fun part is taking a hard cookie cutter coated with some flour and cutting out the beautiful shape by pressing gently into the dough and remove the excess scraps. To prevent any sticking at this point, sprinkle some semolina on a parchment lined baking sheet or tray. This is a lifesaver and won't leave a gummy taste which may happen if you use flour instead. Transfer your ravioli onto the tray 
This part is optional, but I'm stamping with a heart impression cutter as a guide for where I'm putting the filling and piping a small amount in the center with the pastry bag. Try to aim for no more than a teaspoon. They can explode if overfilled. Next, take a wet brush to trace around the outline of the heart and place another ravioli sheet directly over it. I started pressing from bottom to top and applied a firm seal in a circle all the way around. This gives the ravioli a smooth look without creating air bubbles or creasing. I can't wait to boil these, but right before we do that, I'm going back with the impression for a finishing touch to pronounce the heart shape even more. All it takes is five minutes to boil them. It is helpful to use a spider strainer like I am here to assist you since the pasta can be delicate. I know you want to know what sauce to serve these with. Go and watch my two minute penne alla vodka video linked on top of the screen. Yes, it's only two minutes. It's a very simple recipe to put together and you don't want to miss out on your new favorite sauce. It goes perfectly with these ravioli and your loved ones will be thrilled with it. I guarantee they will want seconds. I hope you enjoy your date night in and you complete the meal with some red wine, fresh Italian bread, and caprese salad. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.